Today, we will explore a unique experience of an American college student who moved to Japan for studies. It was a journey that led him into an unusual situation where the age and cultural differences became more significant than he had imagined. He sent us his account via email, and we will be narrating his experience here in this video. I entered college a year early. In my first year of college, people in my class were generally one or two years older than me. The age difference, which may not seem significant in the West, becomes a noteworthy issue in Asian countries like Japan and South Korea. In my second year, as a sophomore, I found myself in a unique situation. Technically unequal in terms of age with the freshmen, but at the same time, a senpai who had already gone through a year of university. Feeling obligated to guide the new South Korean freshmen, I took them to experience local cuisine, such as Ishnakubo, the Korean town in Japan, conveniently located just two train stops away from the campus. After a Korean barbecue, we explored the Kabuki Cho area, known for its iconic bright red neon gate. However, as we will see, this area has a unique reputation. Eleven years ago, all the attendants were foreigners. This doesn't mean that all foreign women in Tokyo are involved in sex work, but traditionally, those who worked in the adult industry in Japan were discreet, and only foreigners exposed themselves, as Japanese women always remained discreet about such practices. Japanese women involved in this kind of work rarely displayed themselves on the streets. The marketing of these establishments was often done by men who invited people to enter. Today, however, we see a change. Young Japanese women are now negotiating services in areas like Kabukicho, challenging the traditional discretion that characterized the adult industry in the country. For a long time, the nightlife area was overlooked by Japanese journalists, mainly because the women involved were usually older or foreigners. The adult industry involving Japanese women is far from the stereotype that the rest of the world has about women entering this kind of life. Many people believe that these women are just trying to pay off university debts, rent, or save up for expensive purses. However, in reality, this view is far from correct, according to what Japanese journalists discovered when they began investigating the case. We know the story of Yuka a 23-year-old Japanese woman who felt incredibly lonely in Tokyo. Without attending university, she decided to start a new life in the big city, only to find that loneliness persisted. In Japan, a nation known for its introversion, no one questioned or cared about her well-being. On the verge of a mental collapse, Yuka had an idea that would change her life forever. She decided to download a dating app, where she met a seemingly kind guy. On their first date, she experienced emotions she had never felt before. He listened to her, making her feel special for the first time in her life. However, at the end of the first date, he revealed his true profession, he worked as a host in a nightclub in the famous Kabukicho area in Tokyo. What started as a relationship quickly turned into a challenging financial situation for Yuka. The price she paid to be involved with him increased exponentially with each encounter, reaching 200,000 yen. Yuka found herself trapped in a vicious cycle, paying significant sums to support Egoa, her boyfriend in the nightclub, almost every night. She was completely infatuated and saw him as the only glimmer of hope in her lonely life. As expected, Yuka fell behind on payments owed to the nightclub. At this point, a man encouraged her to go to Cooper Park in Kabukicho, suggesting she just stay there. He claimed that by staying there, customers would naturally approach her. Day after day, Yuka and other young women faced the harsh reality of earning money by providing services to men in the area, only to return to the nightclubs and pay off their debts. Many of you might be surprised, as most initially thought these women were seeking money to pay for college help their families, or even for more superficial desires. However, according to the Tokyo Metropolitan Police, the vast majority are involved in work related to nightclubs. 
For many Japanese women, loneliness combined with irrational hope or a straightforward pursuit of hedonistic pleasure are the main psychological factors. The overall lack of intimacy in Japanese society significantly contributes to this phenomenon. Many young women, especially those who have recently moved to Tokyo, feel a significant lack of real friendships and relationships. This lack of connection leads them to seek comfort in the host culture. Attempting to fill the emotional void. While many of these women sell themselves to support their boyfriends, many others engage in such services simply to avoid feeling alone, to escape the loneliness that plagues young Japanese individuals. Interpersonal relationships and social contact are issues that plague Japanese society as a whole, and over time, the consequences of this phenomenon have become increasingly concerning. What is your opinion on all of this? Please leave your thoughts in the comments on how you think this problem could be addressed. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video to help us continue producing more content like this. Until next time.